Drug addiction is an extremely complex disease, and to understand how it develops or how to beat addiction is just as complex. Some might say that quitting drugs may be as simple as exercising a little more willpower, or that a person may be lacking in morals and or character. This is simply not the case. Drugs alter the chemicals in the brain, making it very difficult to quit once started, no matter how much an individual would like to do so. Naturally, the initial decision to take illegal drugs may be a matter of choice and may be able to be stopped after one or a few uses where others may not. Many organs are affected by the use of drugs. However, the brain plays a prominent role in addiction. Three key areas of the brain are affected by drug use, and this can include the limbic system, the brain stem, and the cerebral cortex. The limbic system is responsible for and oversees our reward circuit system within the brain, allowing the body to feel an overwhelming sense of euphoria or elation when this system has been flooded with dopamine. Dopamine is a chemical or neurotransmitter that enables us by helping regulate movement and emotional responses or rewards. In addition, it causes a person to act or move towards these rewarding feelings. Outpourings of dopamine in the reward circuit cause the fortification of gratifying but unhealthy behaviors like taking drugs, leading people to repeat the behavior over and over again. The brain begins to adapt by reducing the reward response. You don't feel as euphoric as you did before. Because a person does not feel as euphoric that they may have originally, they may take more of the drug or combinations of drugs to achieve that level of euphoria again. As the brain makes these adaptations, the individual is no longer able to derive as much joy from simple everyday activities, like having sex, or spending time with their families, or even the pleasure of eating some sort of food like chocolate cake. Long-term use also causes changes in other brain chemical systems and circuits as well. Affecting these functions include learning, judgment, decision-making, such as increased spread of infectious diseases due to the risky behavior, increased risk of motor vehicle accidents while under the influence. It can cause increased stress, memory loss, just to name a few of the areas affected. Drug abuse and addiction can not only affect the brain, but almost every system in your body. We can't possibly cover all the consequences of drug abuse or addiction in this short video. However, it is important to note that drugs can also cause or worsen other health problems and lead to some health issues as well. Some examples of this would be the use of inhalants, you know, snuffing. Spread, um, the inhalants spread toxic chemicals throughout the body and can cause blackouts and hearing loss, as well as liver, kidney, or bone marrow damage. Methamphetamines can cause cardiac damage, elated heart rate, and convulsions can also lead to diseased gums and teeth known as meth mouth. It's really not a pretty sight. <clears throat> Cocaine has been linked to stroke and heart attack as well as increased vulnerability to infection. Drug abuse is linked to the top U.S. medical problems including heart disease, cancer, HIV, AIDS, and even mental illness. Research has shown that long-lasting changes in the brain caused by chronic drug abuse may lead to depression, aggression, paranoia, and hallucinations. Even, even something as simple as tobacco addiction increases the risk of lung and heart disease, as well as premature aging of the skin. If a pregnant individual gives birth to a baby, the baby can be born suffering from a condition known as neonatal 
Abstinence Syndrome, or NAS for short. This is just a horrible way for a child to start their life. Risky behavior as a result of drug abuse can also lead to criminal activity. I see this every day in my job. This can even start in an innocent way, such as a recent case I was called to for a death of a parent due to a drug overdose. The other parent was incarcerated because of criminal activity related to drug abuse as well. I recall the very young adult who was left to deal with the situation telling me that their parents were very good people. In fact, they had even been ministers who at one time were involved in a very serious auto accident. This was followed by prescription pain relievers while recovering from the accident and surgeries. This all eventually led to the use of illicit drugs when they were no longer able to obtain prescription pain relievers. A, a very sad case. Drug addiction can lead to behavior that leads a person to losing their job, their house, their car, their friends, family members, all of that, etc., can lead them to criminal behavior so that the individual can continue to feel, feed the addiction. An example would be stealing items, you know, to pawn or sell for cash. As a victim advocate, I have seen where they started out as consensual sex in exchange for money to buy drugs that led to a gang rape. No single factor can predict whether a person will become addicted to drugs. A combination of genetic, environmental, and developmental factors uh, influences the risk for addiction. The more risk factors a person has, the greater the chance that taking drugs can lead to addiction. More good news is that drug use and addiction are preventable. Teachers, parents, and healthcare providers have crucial roles in educating young people and preventing drug use and addiction. Drug addiction is treatable and can be successfully managed. Thank you for listening to me.